had caught wind you'd been discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after, though. Don't me! Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we'd parted as friends. Me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every cell. Come on, that's it. You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. Should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? I will.
What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward. See some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I give it here. Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one. That is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy. Take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Not on my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! Came down swiftly 
and clutched at the coat of a large ram. But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift the animal, while his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite amused. Running up, he captured the jackdaw and clipped its wings. That evening, he gave the jackdaw to his children again. What an odd little bird this is, father, they laughed and shouted. What do you call him? This is a jackdaw, the father said. But if you should ask him, he would claim to be dead. Little I can handle this. Lout! Always tearing down when you could be building things up, or building yourself up if nothing else. Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowler plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Good day. I hope I see you. 